Hi, I'm Connie Kraft, principal of New Manchester High School. Welcome. I'd like to take you on a tour of our new facility. You have just entered the main office area for the school. This is the reception area where we anticipate having our receptionist sit in this area, which is the forefront of the administrative offices and the counseling offices. This is our entryway. This is where we anticipate greeting the public. The office to my left is the attendance office, and as you saw the roll door when we entered the building, that's where the attendance clerks will greet students and any parent requests that we might have or needs that could be met in that area, they'll come to that roll down window, which will be more convenient, we hope, than having to come all the way inside the main office. Teacher work area, we have teacher mailboxes. We have storage spaces, places for small refrigerator units, microwaves to accommodate working people during the day. One of the nice features at New Manchester is basically what we'll call the sick room. It's a, a room that's isolated, but it allows sick students to be attended here without having to be in the mainstream population. And this is the principal's office. I'm excited. We have a lot of space to do a lot of things. We can have small meetings, parent meetings, a lot of space to do the things that we haven't been able to do in some of our other facilities, so it's, it's very, very encouraging. Now this particular area we're very excited about. This is a staff development room, and this will give us flexibility to have meetings, to have department chair meetings, common course team meetings, outside meetings, just anything that we want to use as a multi-purpose possibility, but it's, it's an incredible space. We can set it up classroom style, theater style, whatever is going to work for the meeting at hand. So we've got that capability, which is great. It is a separate facility, and we're very pleased that that is the case. It allows us to utilize it as a fine arts center in a number of ways. It could be a community issue, it could be a school issue, things that can occur during school hours that won't interrupt the school day. So it's, we're very fortunate that it is a separate facility. As we come into the theater, you'll notice it's very large, and what we have determined is that it will seat approximately 780 people. That would be the largest theater facility that we would have at any of the high schools in the county. We're excited about the state-of-the-art opportunities that occur with this particular building and that the lighting, and the acoustics, the black box stage, and the orchestra pit are all things that are in addition to what we've been able to have in other areas in the county. It will support our desire to look at this school becoming a fine arts performing school. This is going to be the stage production area where they will build sets. Now, there's the loading dock area from the outside, but this will be their construction site where they will store sets, can build sets, paint, do everything they need to do for any productions. Oh, it's, it's beautiful. It has all of the sound baffles, the panels. And if you look at the small rooms that are along this front wall, this is where he has space for ensembles to practice for different groupings to go in and practice together. And there's an area for storage, a pass-through window for the uniforms, just an incredible space for band. And the acoustics are to die for. <laughs> They're wonderful. Now one of the features that I wanted, yeah. wanted to show you guys is they have the capability to record as they play and then let them hear it played back. This is the choral room. Same thing available here. We have the sound baffles that will support a good sound and students will have the capability to be recorded and hear themselves as they are working. And we also have the individual practice rooms for the various groups that might need to get together. As you can see as we walk through the building that the color scheme of scarlet and gray appears in varying shades and configurations to support our school colors, but it, it just brings the school alive. All right, this is the media center. As you come in the entryway, you can see the display cases. And as you enter, you can look about this particular room and see that we have a number of small areas that are conducive for office space, small meeting rooms, conference rooms, student reading rooms, teacher work rooms, storage space for AV equipment, and a workspace for the media specialist. With media being the hub for the AV equipment storage, we want to mention that the entire school is Wi-Fi driven. So that will support one of the major emphasis for the school, which is our bring your own technology. Students will be given the capability under supervision and direction to bring in technology that's personal in order to incorporate it in their studies in the classroom and to support their learning in all areas. This is an exciting area. We, we're just so 
pleased to have this opportunity. It's a covered courtyard space that will allow us to do many things that we've not had capability to do in the past. Our ROTC folks who've looked at this facility say this is a great place to do drills. Our students who need to practice dance lines, inclement weather keeps them from going outside sometimes. This would be a good place to practice. And this particular end of the courtyard is adjacent to the cafeteria and we'd like to put some picnic tables and some seating areas for students who want to come outside when the weather is conducive. It's just a general purpose area that lends itself to many, many things. This is our cafeteria. As you can see, the columns add quite a bit of character. I think the seating capacity in the cafeteria is going to be around 700, maybe 750. But that will depend on seating arrangements once we get tables, chairs in and have pathways to determine what kind of aisle space we need. So it may be just a bit smaller number than that, but it will probably be larger than any other cafeteria size that we have in the county. And the nice thing about it is that it will allow us a little more time between groups coming through to get ready for the next group. It's difficult when you run a high school with four or five lunch shifts and they turn over within two to five minutes. It's hard to get one space cleaned and ready for the next group to be received. Kitchen space is state of the art. It is beautiful. I think we have six serving lines, walk-in freezers. And the nice thing too is at the end of this particular space, we have an area for seating, meetings, if we wanted to do that, we have our LCD and our whiteboards ready to project and use it for whatever we need after hours or even during the school day if it was a meeting that was required for the students. If you'd like to look into just a standard classroom, you're going to see that we have a whiteboard, an LCD projector, and we also have a space for a Promethean board that probably has not been installed but is on the way, and this will support our new technology emphasis. And I haven't mentioned this as we've walked down the hallways, but it's interesting to note that the restrooms connect all the way through. So if they go in one side, they could actually go out the doorway on the other hallway. And they're very large, which is very nice. <laughs> as you'll notice as we go down the hallway that the hall ahead of us is dark. And the reason for that is that the school is designed to be energy efficient. And as we're walking, we will find that our lights will turn on based on the motion. The energy efficiency that we mentioned earlier coming up the hallway applies to the individual classrooms as well. And as we walk into the science room, you'll see that each room will light as we enter. Science labs are beautiful. We have plenty of storage, locking storage at that, so that teachers can control supplies and keep harmful chemicals away from students when they don't need to have access. We have individual student lab stations, and we have the teacher lab station at the front of the classroom. The prep rooms are designed to run between two science labs. This allows for teacher storage and access from both of the lab spaces. Here you can see the dishwasher for the science beakers, tubes, anything that we might need. Yeah. Outside ticket booth, as you come into the gym lobby area, to my left is the concession stand. And to my right, we have a wall display for trophies. Most proud of our new gym facility. We have actually two gyms. We're looking at the main gym right now. This is our primary varsity staging area. As you notice as we walked in, the gym is also a separate freestanding building and that's wonderful in that it allows us to have activities and events that will not interrupt the instructional day for the rest of the students should we choose to do that. It allows athletic events to occur early in the afternoon, and plenty of parking, again, nice accommodation for the public. As you look in front of us, you can see our athletic complex. Uh, first and foremost is our football field, which is a turf field. You can see the Jaguar that's embedded, beautiful Jaguar. We have to the, if you're facing the field from the school, you look to the left, you're going to see the home stands. And at the top of the home stands, we have the press box. Behind the press box is the concession stand area, ticket area for people who are coming to events. And surrounding the football area, the field area, to the far end of the field, we're going to see the field house. And then as we look up to the left of the field house area, we see the softball field and the baseball field. If we look to the right, we're going to see six tennis courts, and beyond that, we're going to see the football practice field. And across, of course, from the home stands, we see our visitors area, which also has a concession stand set up, which is very nice. That means that we won't have to cross over 
patrons from the game with any rivalries, which will help a great deal. And if you look to the front of the school, you're also going to see a field area that has been designed for the band practice field. So that is also part of what we want to include as our outdoor activity space. In closing, I'd like to thank you for being part of our virtual tour of New Manchester High School. We want to invite you to come and literally visit the campus in person. And in doing so, you have many opportunities as a member of the community. You can serve as a supporter of the school in whatever capacity feels good. That would include being a mentor to students, becoming a partner in education, or as a volunteer. We again extend that invitation and hope that you will take us up on this opportunity to become part of New Manchester's family.